any basic story has a certain progression and a certain narrative. You have low points and high points. There are no really inspiring stories if there are no low points or high points. My very first memory as a kid was my teacher, a person that I looked up to, looking down at me and saying, Christopher, shut up. Now, of course, they didn't say that, but they implied that when I talked a lot. And they said, Christopher, you're staying after class, and you're going to write, I will not talk in class, 100 times and 200 times. And my third grade teacher, Mrs. McArdle, bless her heart, she was so angry at me that she said, Christopher, you're going to stay after class and write, I will not talk in class, 500 times. And so for a kid that was eight years old, writing this on the board, and now many, many years later, after having that punishment in school, being ridiculed for being a slow learner, being the shortest kid in my class, to one day speaking around the world, it just blows my mind that dreams are possible. And in my free time, I started a homeless youth program where I interviewed people from all around the world, including the Elon Musk, to help these homeless kids that live in the largest shelter in the country about career and life skills. So the power of a story is low points, high points, the tr transition, and how that relates to your professional aspect is if you can be that transition point where your client was here, you helped them get through that transition, and now they're here, it's all about keeping it super, super, super basic. We have all this data, we have all these analytics, we have all these products, that's all important. But if you don't keep the story basic, they're gonna lose you and you're gonna lose that sale. So the most basic thing about a sale is low points, high points, transition, how do you help along them through that journey to where they wanna go?